I just got back from New York. I landed about two hours ago and I'm just making some lunch now. I actually tolerated the cold pretty well, I think. Honestly, as someone that's used to 80 degrees all the time and that being the normal, I think that's pretty good so far. I'm supposed to be in finals week this week, um, except I don't have any finals. I only have to write a paper. I was lucky that all my classes this semester didn't have a final exam. They only had final papers, final projects. So that was really convenient for my trip because I didn't have to worry about studying for anything. But I do have to write this paper and I have a few things to do for research as well. I really like getting back from trips in the beginning of the week so I can kind of still fix my schedule and do my little thing so for those that don't follow my instagram i usually like to post little updates and stuff about my life as it's happening there for vlogmas i'm trying to post either every other day or every few days um because honestly i don't know how people do vlogmas every day i don't do that much during the day i don't want to tell you guys it's going to be daily when i'm not sure if it's going to be daily because sometimes i just am not doing anything <laughs> The end of the semester was last week. So I'm technically in finals week right now. I think this is my first semester where I don't have final exams. I do have a 10 page paper. I think I mentioned it early in this video. So I haven't started it yet, but um, I've kind of been busy editing stuff for my study channel and then the vlog that I have to put up tomorrow. Today, I think I'm just gonna rely on finding sources and outlining it. And then um, I'll start drafting it tomorrow because I really need to get these videos up and I have to do some MCAT practice tonight as well.
working on this paper for what feels like my entire life. I'm almost four pages in. It's due tomorrow, but I did make a nail appointment. I think I'm gonna try to get the full pages done today, and then tomorrow I'll leave like the um, citations and all that because that's my least favorite part. I don't mind writing a paper at all. Like, this is such a long paper, and I started it so late too. I started it yesterday. <laughs> show you guys how I've been making my coffees recently. I've been trying to make a mix of kind of like a shaken espresso from Starbucks. It doesn't taste as good as a Starbucks shaken espresso, but it kind of does the job. So I use a vanilla sweetener and then I make two espressos with an espresso machine. Whatever type of espresso you can make. And then I make two shots because the grande is two shots. I really want to get a normal coffee machine. I don't really need one but I really want to use ground coffee beans. And then I just use regular oat milk. Um, the one I use is from Target but I actually prefer the um, I don't know what brand it is but it's a lot better than this one. I use this cup. It's like a mason jar. Um, and then it covers, it has this, and then it has a little, like, cap or whatever that you close it so that you can shake it. So then I just put the espresso in the mason jar. I get my ice and I just put it in here. And then I use a sweetener, but the sweetener is actually really strong, so I don't put too much. I put usually, like, a dot. And then I get this part, and then you just match it. It's from the brand Ball, and it's the sure tight one. I think I got this from Target as well. I just close it and it's gonna look something like this. I kind of really hope no one is a Starbucks barista because I feel like this is just not the way to do it. I just fill the rest with oat milk. I'm not sure why the oat milk is just sitting at the bottom. I've seen some people use cocktail mixers so honestly I think whatever you use to mix it doesn't really matter. I also think the milk you use is really important. I kind of like it to be thicker so if you use almond milk it's going to be a lot more watery. Mm -hmm. 